stop being played for a sucker by the major media. When you tune into any major outlets, I don't care if it's MSN, CNN, I don't care if it's Fox News. All that they're doing is trying to get you upset, trying to get you outraged on the latest idiotic thing that Nancy Pelosi did or Donald Trump did or Joe Biden did or all the people who frankly don't make that much of a difference to your life because the reason these outlets do that is they want you to tune in tomorrow. So I want you to know what's Nancy Pelosi going to do next? What did that outrageous person do now? The only reason they're doing that is to get you to tune in. And why are they doing that? Because they need to assemble an audience to advertise to. So you're totally being played for a sucker if you tune in breathlessly waiting for the latest thing on the news, which is only designed to upset you. And the reason for that is simple human psychology. So I'm not sure if you know this, but humans respond much more powerfully and quickly and immediately to dangers or perceived dangers. This is a survival tool. So we were designed so that if there's a bear chasing us, we look over our shoulder because, oh my gosh, this bear chasing us it immediately catches our attention and we run away. We drop everything we're doing and we run away. And that is our psychology. It's to survive. It's functional if you're a caveman. But in today's society, not so functional because these major media outlets have figured that out. They hire teams of psychologists to figure out how to get your attention and how to keep it and how to keep you breathlessly on the edge of your seat to see what's going to happen next. And the problem is that you're breathlessly on the edge of your seat. You're upset. Your adrenaline is up. You're in fight or flight mode all the time. And all that they're trying to do is build an audience. And now why is that? Because back in the day, there used to be three major channels, you know, NBC, CBS, and ABC. They had a couple of UHF channels that barely came in and they had no competition, maybe two or three major newspapers. And all your news came from one of those sources, either major newspapers or from one of the major outlets. Now there are a thousand places to get your news. So these news outlets, NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, all of them are absolutely desperate to get your attention because that's how they make money. And the newspapers, to the extent they even exist anymore, are absolutely going out of business. So the few ones that are left do exactly the same thing. So all that they give you is opinion journalism. There's no news anymore. It's all opinion journalism. Everybody has an angle. And why do they have that? Because they want to assemble an audience of like-minded people. So what does the Washington Post and the New York Times want to do? They want to assemble a bunch of people who are liberals, who are worried about global warming, worried about guns in schools, worried about you know all the things that liberals are concerned about. What does Fox do and the more conservative outlets? They want you to be concerned about the culture wars with teaching about trans activists in school. And they want you worried about the global warming is a hoax and COVID is a hoax. So they all have their angles. And that's the problem that everything that's presented to you is from someone with both an agenda and an angle. And the agenda is typically just to keep you tuned in. But in order to do that, they need an outrage based, consistent platform and consistent point of view. So you very rarely see a secondary point of view on any of the outlets. And again, I don't care if you're a Fox fan or a CNN fan or MSNBC or New York Times or Washington Post, doesn't really matter because they're all doing the same thing. Closest thing I've seen to anything that's at all neutral is the Wall Street Journal. That's the closest thing I've seen. Everything else is not. In any event, your life is being wasted and sucked away if you actually pay attention to these fools and idiots because they are people just trying to steal your day and steal your time. So stop it. Don't let them do it. Turn off the alerts on your phone. Don't let your phone ding at you all the time unnecessarily because every time the phone dings, let's face it, we're going to look at it and it's distract us and pay attention. What you've got to do is first of all, realize that whatever someone does in Washington or Syria, Seattle or Las Vegas or San Francisco or New York probably has little to no bearing on your life. And what you want to do is work on what you can control. And I think the best philosophy about this was brought up by the Stoics, who were Greek philosophers back in the day, a school of philosophy called Stoicism. One of their pieces of major advice was worry about the things that you have direct control and influence over. Don't worry about the things you don't have influence and control over. I don't have influence what Joe Biden does or doesn't do. I have zero influence on that. So I'm not going to waste my valuable time and valuable breath doing anything about that. What I'm going to do is spend time making my life better. And that's exactly what you should do. You should spend time making your relationships better, making your business better, making your the time you spend with your kids better. Put down the phone, turn off the TV. You'll still know what's going on in the world. You don't need to tune in every night with bated breath to find out what the next you know, pundit has to say. You don't need to do it, I promise. You'll still know enough about what's going on in the world. And just don't be a sucker because we are all being played for suckers by these major media outlets who are desperate for money by assembling a bunch of people they can advertise to. So stop being a sucker. This is Bob Diamond and that's the way it is. See you soon.